Hey guys, and welcome back to Weather Wednesday. Today we're gonna talk about basic coastal wind effects. So when the wind blows over something that has a large amount of friction, such as the land, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, that wind will actually back or shift to the left. And when the wind blows over a surface that doesn't have a lot of friction, say the ocean, it doesn't back quite as much. There is just a teensy bit of backing, little, little left shift, but not as much as over land. So what does that mean for us as sailors? Well, most of the time we're sailing pretty close to the coast. So we get some interesting wind effects when the wind is blowing alongside or parallel to the coast. So this is all explaining for the Northern Hemisphere. Everything is gonna be exactly opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. But if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're looking upwind and the land is on your left-hand side, there's a better chance you're going to have a little bit better wind speed close to the coast due to convergence. This comes from the wind streamlines converging near the coast because over the land it's slightly shifted left. And it means if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're looking upwind and the land is on your right, most likely there's gonna be less wind very close to the coast due to divergence. And this is because the wind streamlines are diverging apart right near the coast because of the frictional left shift over land. So you may be wondering how far offshore would you maybe see this convergence effect or divergence effect? And the answer is it kind of depends. Generally, you're going to see it with the biggest effect or biggest shift when you're basically within a mile of the shoreline. You can see this effect up to maybe four or five nautical miles away from the shore, but it's a little bit less pronounced or a little bit less obvious. So remember this convergence and divergence only applies when the wind is nearly parallel to the shore. So if the wind is coming off the shore or onto the shore at a 90 degree angle, this isn't really going to apply. All right, I hope this little tidbit about coastal wind effects will help you guys in your racing strategy or your sailing strategy next time you're close to a coast. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us for Weather Wednesday. If you guys like this video, hit subscribe. We put out videos every Wednesday. You can visit our website at www.csea-tactics.com for more information on our online courses and all kinds of other cool weather resources. Check it out. See you guys next week.